Howdy. I thought today would be a great day to talk about insulation. Why is that? So I am in my shop right now. It's uh, between 76 and 78 degrees, depending on where you measure it. Uh, why is that impressive? Well, that's impressive because it was 104 degrees today outside. And right now it's still 96 degrees and it's 7.30 at night. Um, it was over 100 degrees until, I don't know, an hour or two ago. And the shop stayed cool all day. Actually, the shop is cooler than the house is all day and still is right now. Um, and that's impressive because I'm in a 30 by 48 foot pole barn with a 10,000 BTU window unit. And a 10,000 BTU window unit, according to the internet, is supposed to cool somewhere around 450 square foot. And this is 1,440 square foot with a 13 foot ceiling. Uh, so I consider that pretty impressive. Uh, I did a quick video on this before with just the R19 in the walls, just like the bats versus the Solex insulation. Well, now that the shop is, well, pretty much done, um, it goes metal, Solex, the bubble wrap thermal barrier stuff, and then it's framed out with R19, and then it has sheetrock on the inside of that. So now it's fully done, and the ceiling has a plastic vapor barrier, so it's 10, and then plastic vapor barrier, and then R60 which is approximately 20 inches worth of fiberglass blow-in insulation that I did all myself. Um, and I will say, this, this is my personal experience. I'm not a professional at this per se, but I think I set it up pretty well and I think it works pretty good. I've got my uh, infrared heat gun. Let's go take a look at some stuff and talk about it. All right, so now we're here. Hopefully that's not too loud. I left it on on purpose. Um, 10,000 BTU window unit. This one is called a Perfect Air. I actually got this one off of Facebook Marketplace for really cheap. This one's a little bit different because it's called a casement style window unit. So notice it's taller than it is wide and it's made for casement windows and sliders like this is. Um, so you can put a window unit in here. and. I uh, am gonna shut that off so you all can hear me. Um, I bought this actually as an experiment. It was so cheap on Facebook Marketplace. I paid a hundred bucks for it. I, I don't think the guy could sell it. I watched it for a while before I bought it. And uh, I think it was so cheap because it's the odd casement style window unit. But I bought it as an experiment because really I wanted to put a mini split up on the wall right there. And I was looking at like 36,000 BTU mini splits that would uh, heat and cool. And they're really expensive. So the one I've been having my eye on was like $2,700 and that's really expensive. Um, and I wasn't ready for that level of involvement yet. When I wired the shop, I put a, I believe it's a 30 amp box on the outside of the wall it's wired, it's ready for the mini split. I just didn't want to spend money on it yet. So I bought this as a test uh, for this year. And I gotta tell you what, it's, other than it being a little bit loud, it's actually been quite nice. It probably takes a little bit more power than a mini split would, but uh, this thing has kept this shop cold all year and especially this week, it's supposed to be like 105 degrees every day, and the shop is currently colder than the rest of my house is. Now my house, it's, it's a three-story house, and the whole three stories is exposed on the backside because we're kind of on a hill, and it gets sun in the afternoon, and it's 78 degrees in there right now, and the AC hasn't shut off since noon, and it still can't keep up. It won't shut off until like, I don't know, eight or nine o'clock at night. Um, but in here, this thing's been running, don't get me wrong, this thing's been running, but it is cooler in here than it is in the house, which is really interesting. So, um, I tested this earlier, it was putting out like 40 degree air, um, and then 
I did, I got my broken truck sitting here that it blows on. And, well, this was a little bit cold earlier. I don't know how much I trust this um, infrared meter, but it's saying it's 75. I was testing the air here, it was 40. Uh, we'll turn that back on. And then just like random places in the shop, 78, 77, 78, um, which is fine. I have the window unit set on 72. It's probably not very accurate. And then my old clock, old man clock in the wall currently says it's 79. Um, but it's way, it's eight foot up in the air. So it's gonna be hotter up there than it is down here. Um, so, it's interesting. Uh, last time I posted about insulation, somebody made a comment and said, you know, it, it's not very helpful if we don't know what temperature it was outside. So I'm gonna give as much information as I can. This is not scientific necessarily, but this is the only part of my wall that I haven't finished. Um, so we were up there, we were looking at some temperatures. It was 79, 77 um, here. And of course this is, on the other side of the shop from the window unit. But here it's 82 on that wall, 87. And now this wall is in the shade. Um, but you can see the difference between like the bare wall with just Solex and um, after the R19 and sheetrock. So it's 83 and it's 88 here. And the sun's already gone down past this part. I can't get directly on the 10 because it's very thoroughly wrapped in Solex here. Um, so anyways, let's go outside and look at the actual. So this is where we were. It's already in the shade, but it's 97. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's 97 on the outside of the house or on the outside of the shop. And then over here, 113, 113, 112, 115. And then here's the outside of the unit. Um, this is how it fits in the, uh, the sliding window. It's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, I should have recorded earlier when it was 105, but it's been keeping up all day, which is really interesting. And I don't know if it's a testament to the uh, window unit as much as it's a testament to the insulation in the shop. Whew. Came back inside because it's hot out there. Um, so anyways, that's how I'm keeping a 1,440 square foot shop cold, chilly, with a 10,000 BTU um, window unit. So now knowing what I know, that this small unit is able to keep up with a shop this big. Now, I'm not a commercial shop. I'm not opening the door every 10 minutes. I go to great lengths to not open the door unless I have to, purely just to keep it cool in here. Usually I'm working on stuff. If I pull a vehicle in, usually I'm doing like long-term vehicle work. I'm not pulling a truck in every evening with a hot engine and letting it heat soak the shop every night. And I'm not opening the door 10 times a day. If you're opening the door 10 times a day, especially a big door like this, this is a, uh, I'm not sure which measurement goes first, 18 by 12, um, it's a big door. And if you're opening it 10 times a day every day, a window unit's probably not gonna keep up. But I have a hobby shop where most of the things I'm working on are things inside of the shop and I can use the man door. It, it, it works out for me. Um, my long term is probably not a window unit because I don't like having it in the window and it's a little bit loud. My long term is probably a 24,000 BTU uh, mini split up on the wall. That way it heats and cools and that'll be my permanent. And being able to go to the 24,000 BTU instead of the 36,000 BTU will save me about $1,000 when I'm buying the unit. 
so a little bit of savings there. I think long term, thirty six thousand would be overkill. I don't. Uh, this is my house. I don't plan on opening the door a hundred times a day. Um, and I think uh, twenty four thousand would probably keep up just fine. And and if it doesn't, maybe you put the window unit back in and run them both at the same time. I don't know. But you have options there. So anyways, this is my real world example of real world how I'm cooling my shop with nothing but a window unit. Um, I did a lot of research and a lot of pondering when I was building my shop and kind of wish I would have found something like this. So that's why I'm making this now. Hopefully you all enjoyed and you all learned something. Uh, leave a comment and uh, like and subscribe to our videos so I'm motivated to keep making them. And uh, you. Go out in your garage and work on something.